All right. I am here with uh, Nolene Zassman from Zoom Catalog. How are you today, Nolene? I am great, Jeff. How are you? I am excellent, and I have been looking forward to this interview. We uh, met, uh, Nolene and I met at the PPAI Leadership Conference, and, uh, you know, she's just one of those veterans, been around the industry a long time, and, and has some great wisdom to share with us. So I'm just going to jump right into the questions, Nolene. Is that Okay. Sure, no problem. All right, excellent. So what do you see as the biggest challenge that is facing our industry? Um, you know, Jeff, I think we have to learn to use the tools that are available to us on the web to increase sales and productivity. Mm. I really believe that the biggest challenge facing the industry, both from the supplier side and the distributor side, is the technology that is being and has been developed and the adoption and the education surrounding all this great new technology and the tools that we have at our disposal. Um, adoption of new technology and tools is a tough hurdle to overcome and I think we are in the, all in the field of marketing, be it promotional products by distributors to end users or new products to distributors by suppliers. We should all try and stay on top of our game to make, take time to learn and to educate ourselves as to what is available on the web and how these technologies can benefit all of us. Right, and, and so what things can we do to, to address those challenges? I mean, education, obviously. Uh, uh... Hmm. You know, that, that's quite a difficult question to answer. I think that what you need to do is actually set a time aside every day to research the tools on the web and to master them. Um, we at Zoom Catalog spend our endless hours on the phone showing distributors and suppliers um, what we've produced and how these tools can be used. And the adoption has been quite phenomenal. So again, I really do think it's all about education. Yeah, and, and I think that, uh, you know, let's, let's be candid here. I'm just going to reveal a little personal thing like maybe the, the the folks that are watching haven't guessed it we we're like uh seasoned veterans we've been around a while and it's uh, you know embracing new technology and learning it isn't so easy for us sometimes i think uh you know it's not easy and it's not easy for a lot of people i was at a i was at um, rocky mountain regional association two days ago and there were people in the room that didn't know how to create a hyperlink and it really got me to thinking that we need to do webinars to teach the people that really are on the ground level that don't know how to do this stuff, teach them the basics of how to do it to make it so much easier for them to get their product to market. Right, exactly. Technology is, is a key thing and we, we just got to be on top of it. Now, is there a personal goal uh, that you have in the industry, a, a focus? Uh, I'm guessing I know what that is, but uh, share share with our audience here. Yeah, Jeff, you know, I am really intent on getting a uh, moving catalog and search, search from print and mailing to the web to help um, reduce our industry's carbon footprint and reduce the waste in this industry. You know, Jeff, you and I know and every supplier knows and every distributor knows that we have an enormous amount of waste with print catalogs in this industry. Not only does this have a profound effect on our environment, but on our bottom line as well. And we are focused on the distribution of, of catalogs online through our portal, Zoom Catalog, and our distributor custom catalog search engines, getting them into the hands of end users. And we've developed an amazing system where you can search through our catalog, digital catalog filing cabinet by keywords, and finding the products that you want and sending them out via the web, via hyperlinks and email. Yeah, I, I believe there's just a tremendous waste of, of paper and money that suppliers are are just spending a fortune to, oh. to send these catalogs to people uh, who like me I, I, I you know uh, people who followed promo tips have perhaps seen my video where I, I show all the catalogs and I've talked about the waste that there are companies that send me catalogs I don't know who they are I will probably never use them uh, and that costs them so much money so you know, Jeff, I don't think print catalogs are going away in a hurry. There are still people that want their, their small set of catalogs that they love and they use all the time. I don't think they're going away entirely. I don't think people should be frightened that they are going to disappear off the face of the earth in the next two years. But I do think that there's a lot of um, value in being able to research pro product in these catalogs online. And, and that is where we really come into play. Right, exactly. Now, if you had the ability to change one thing in the industry, what would that be? 
Wow, Jeff. Um, I have to think about that. That's a tough question. Um, I think what I would like to change really is to reduce our carbon footprint with, with, with these print catalogs. And that's really what we focus on. And again, you know, I sound like I'm having a huge plug for Zoom catalog. But we, we really do need to focus on, we're all selling green products. Why not use a green product online and try and stop using these paper catalogs, you know, to an extent at least. Right. And, and I think we all have a certain passion in, in, in what drives us. Like my passion, uh, you know, I'm a distributor, but I do free promo tips because people help me when I was uh, coming into the industry. And I just have this passion of creating a, a tool that's going to benefit the industry. And, and, and I think, you know, it's okay to be a champion uh, for your product as, as you are with Zoom. Now, I have one last question for you. Now, if, if, there is one thing that you have learned through the years, uh, whether it's a personal or a business thing, uh, some bit of wisdom that you'd like to impart with our viewers. What, what would that be? You know, Jeff, I would say you've always got to be on the lookout for new tools and toys that can help you improve your sales and productivity and embrace rather than fear the new technology. And um, really, one of my things in life is I want to be creative. I want to be original. And I always want to be the first to market with my ideas. So try and be the first to market with your ideas and don't let the fear of failure stand in your way, ever. Absolutely. You know, uh, as a, you know, as a uh, uh, say seasoned veterans, we, we've been a, around for a while and, and sometimes it's really hard to embrace the technology. I, I, I thank God I have my 13-year-old son. He's my uh, <laughs> tech department. Uh, you know, son, you. hey, could you fix that here? Uh, uh, you know, so, um, yeah, we, we really can't, can't be afraid of that. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to share with us. I, I really appreciate it. Sure. No problem, Jeff, and have a great day. All right. Thank you. Thank you.